All right, guys, I know you're wondering, how do I go from this, breaking this down to this? I'm about to break it down for you right now. The key to breaking down my kayak is I have everything in modules. Uh, I have the black pack. All my rods are in the black pack. All my gear, my tools, everything is in the black pack. So I don't have to scramble and get extra crates and get stuff from here and there. Everything is in one box. I can take all my rods off. Boom, wrap them up, they're in the trunk. My sonar unit is also modular. I can take it, put it on another kayak if I wanted to. Two screws, it's unhooked, it's in a crate, it's in the trunk. Uh, my anchor, the anchor wizard, two screws, it's in a trunk. <laughs> the motor, two screws, it's in the trunk. You get the picture. The seat, at least the cam strap, it's in the trunk. So I try to keep everything simple, easy. It also keeps you organized where you don't forget anything important when you have to get out there on the water and you need it. So I know all my tools are gonna be in my black bag. If I have a problem or issue with anything, I need to tighten something up or change the prop or whatever, it's all in my black bag. Um, if I have to, if I get hung up, my anchor gets hung up and I gotta cut it off, and I need to tie on a new anchor, it's in my black bag. Uh, my light is attached to the black bag easily folds up and stores uh, right back into the black bag. It all fits into a bag. So everything is easy to assemble and disassemble. And it's just a peace of mind that you know you can get in and off the water in less than 15 minutes if you really wanted to. And today I'm not even moving fast. I'm just taking my time breaking down my rods and uh, yeah that's the beauty in having everything modular I don't have anything I got to plug in or unplug I don't have any wires I got to deal with um, I don't have any batteries I got to unhook um, now I don't have any GoPro uh, uh, poles or anything set up on this yak just yet so I'd imagine that probably add a little bit more time uh, that's something I'm looking to do in the future. But um, for right now, it's just a basic setup. It's six rods, it's a black pack, it's an anchor wizard, it's a sonar kit with the uh, cell block, and the, uh, uh, gosh, I can't, I can't remember the name of the, the Yak Attack. Uh, it's called the Razor Blade or something, where you actually put the uh, sonar pad and you hook it up to the cell block. Yeah, and also, I also wondered, how do you get this, when I first bought, was thinking about buying this boat, how do you put this on your car? Like, how do you put it on the truck? And I saw a video of a lady who did it, and she, she made it look so easy, and it was just a light bulb moment for me. Everyone else out there that's looking to buy a kayak, especially a sit on top, which are kind of heavy, it's pretty simple to put them up on your car. It really is. Strapping it down. Not hard at all. Uh, I definitely would not use ratchet straps. That's uh, that's not a that's not a safe way to go about it. You want to use the cam straps. They seem to cinch them, cinch your kayak down a lot better. And that's what I have here. I have the NRS cam straps, and they're rated for I think 1,500 pounds. Yeah, you got to watch the rating on these straps because you know you're going down the road 50 miles an hour, whatever. 70 miles, sometimes 80. I know some of you are balling out there, and you want some straps that you can depend on. You don't want any cheap straps because you're gonna you're gonna get punished.
crossbars that I got on this vehicle were in relatively inexpensive. I think I got them from Arbor Freight for like 50 bucks. And they were kind of hard to find, but once I found them, I mean, it was pretty easy to install. Um, I saw some other brands that were very expensive and you had to buy the tower, you had to buy the crossbar. I mean, once you get into all of that, you're looking at about two, three hundred dollars. And I said, you know what? Can I get by with these fifty dollar crossbars from Harbor Freights? And guess what? It works. So there you have it. That's it. Less than 13 minutes. Breakdown to on top of the car. forget to put the uh, tie downs on the front and the back of your kayak so just in case you have a mishap don't even to stay on there